Hey there, what's happening? This is Eric and Victoria. And we are coming at you live from our home office in beautiful Marietta, Georgia. And we want to shoot this quick live video to discuss the topic is are you empowering or enabling like the, a crutch the people you're coaching? <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's a very, very important issue because there's a huge responsibility when you take on coaching other individuals. And, you know, I don't want to create a situation where people are a afraid to become a coach because they feel like they haven't reached a certain level of success or, you know, how can I help other people when I'm not an expert yet? But I don't, I don't want to create that type of situation because you can help people based on where you are because as long as you're several chapters ahead right. of the person that's following you, you can give them good guidance. And as um, I've, I've heard a statement said, don't hook your wagon to the wrong horse. Boy, is that true. As long as you're hooked into a very strong mentor uh, and involved in some sort of a mastermind where you're getting the knowledge you, le you need, you can definitely help. Um, another individual. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to say, you know, this is such a huge responsibility that you can't help other people. But on the other hand, you want to understand the language and the protocol for helping other people. Now, some people, when they uh, are early on in the, in the business of coaching other people, and again, we're focused on helping people who are network marketers or involved in some sort of a home-based business yeah. take their business online. You know, that's what our focus is. And part of that process is to learn what you can about the industry. So you're going to learn what you can and apply it as quickly as possible and then get some results and then you're going to help somebody else. That's right. And through that process of, of, of learning, applying and teaching, you're going to be able to build a tremendous business for yourself. But you have to be kind of careful because you have to understand the difference between empowering someone and enabling someone. Yeah. And that's a very, very, it's a fine line. It's a, it can be a, it can be a tightrope sometimes because there's certain individuals that are coming out of, let's say the, the job mentality and they're new entrepreneurs and they haven't yet understood the process of making an investment in, in a business or an investment in yourself to grow. So they want everything for free, right? And they will literally get as much free coaching and free help as they can from you. And they want you to do everything for them. So it gets back to the old saying, you know, I can, I can feed them a fish or... I can teach them the process of fishing. I can teach them how to fish. And as a coach, you want to be in, in, a, in a situation where you help other people by teaching them how to fish, teaching them how to be resourceful, leading them in the right directions, right? You can be like a um, masterful tour guide, you know, like you envision a tour guide in a museum. Yeah, someone comes to the museum and, you know, they don't know where to go. They, they might want to see the dinosaurs. So then they might want to see the, 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 cave, the caveman drawings and they don't know where to go. And so they're going to come to you as the masterful tour guide that's going to say, okay, dinosaurs are on the third floor. Okay, you want to see the Tyrannosaurus Rex? Well, that's in the basement, right? You got to help the guide people to get them to the information they need and get them to the sources of information they need that's going to help them to grow, but you don't want to do everything for them. Now, I've seen experts out there provide do-it-yourself programs. You know, we're going to, we're going to Build every, you're going to build a sales funnel out for you that's going to make you a million dollars. And all you got to do is pay us $20,000. Your $20,000 will do everything for you. 
And, you know, I've had those off. We've had those offers presented to us in the past. And we always turn them down because if someone else builds it for you, number you one, anything. you're not going to learn anything. You need to know the process. Kind of like they say, if a millionaire loses his money, he knows how to make it back. You need to know the process. You know, the problem is that's not empowering. That's no. disempowering. You know, when somebody does everything for you and they give you a black box and you push the button on the box and it works... That is not going to help you to grow no. as an entrepreneur. And I've seen so many people go through that process where somebody does everything for them. Like a shortcut. And, you know, a year or maybe even several years later, they're no further along. Because the problem with, with, with that process is that things are always changing in the Internet. Yeah, that is true. You know, somebody can build a funnel for you and Facebook can make some changes. They can do some tweaks here and there and it no longer works. Yeah. So what are you going to do? You're going to go back to your original source and they're going to say, hey, let us build you another funnel. <laughs> Just pay us uh, another $10,000 and we'll have everything working for you. No, you have yeah. to learn how to do it. Now, that doesn't mean you have to, you know, know how to do everything. You don't have to be a perfect person. It's not about perfection. One of the keys in, 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 in growing in online marketing is to know what mm -hmm. you're good at and to have the ability to hire people that can help you in certain areas. But the thing is, you're managing the whole process. You know, you're managing the whole process. You know, uh, we, we, we love to watch uh, uh, educational shows on television. One of the shows is The Prophet. And The Prophet comes in and he helps businesses that are failing, right? And, you know, uh, we watched one the other night and this business was a week and a half from going totally bankrupt. Wow. You know, they were, they, were, they were making these, these little tiny houses, right? And the thing, the thing is, the guy purchased the business, and he was a restaurant owner. He purchased the business, and he didn't know anything about the business. And so what he did, he put people in certain positions, and they were running the operation, and the profit came in and realized the guy that owned the company knew nothing about what was going on. Mm -hmm. You know, they were building these small houses. He slept in a house a couple of times, but he, he never walked around the shop floor. He knew he, nothing about what he was expecting his employees to do. And, and to that extent, they did, he had no credibility with them, you know? And so the business was failing. He didn't even know why it was failing. And that's a shame. That is absolutely a shame. As an entrepreneur, as a business owner, you need to understand your business. And when you're coaching other people, you want to build them not only in a particular area, but you want to understand that you're trying to build them up as entrepreneurs. That way, it's important not to spoon feed them, but you need to give them enough so that they can help themselves and understand with the overarching process, they have to grow as entrepreneurs. That's your role as a coach. You know, a, a track coach can't go and run that 440 for that person. They're going to coach. They're going to give details. They're going to help them along. They're going to give them certain things that they can try. They can test certain things. And they might give them feedback. They're going to give them feedback, and that's an important function, giving feedback and letting them know what's working, what's not working, and asking them, what might you try differently? Now, one of the best questions you can ask somebody as a coach is, what is it that you can do now to solve a particular problem you have? Because a lot of people, they get caught up in problems and they get caught up with the fact that they have a problem and that things are not working the way they want it to work. And so one piece of advice you could give is, let me ask you a question. If someone came up to you with the same problem what piece of advice would you give them? Chances are that piece of advice is allowing you to look outside of yourself and it's amazing 
how you can resolve problems that way. So at any rate, what we're, what we're focusing on is finding a way to coach people and not enable them, not being an enabler, mm -hmm. but you want to empower them. You want to, you don't want to disempower them. You want to not give them all the information or give them a course for free that they should <laughs> pay for. No, you don't want to do that. You want to give them the pieces that they can use or give them sources that they can go to. Or even better yet, if you've designed a course, sell it to them. And if you if you're providing mentorship and coach them that coaching, you. then don't discount your price for an individual because that is a very dangerous thing to do it's as a well. It's a poverty mentality. It's a poverty mentality. You're selling yourself short and there's certain individuals that if you if you if you discount your price to them, they will keep on coming back. And coming back for more and more information. And sucking up <laughs> it's like it's it's, it's kind of like if you, you know, certain animals out there, if they come to your door, and you leave some food for them, they're gonna come back the Especially next day, cats. the next day, Especially the next cats. day. They're they're gonna be your best friend, right? But they want to get that information. So if you're interested in finding ways, more ways to help to coach people, or maybe you're looking for some coaching yourself. And you like the information you're, we're providing and you like additional information, just type info in the comments below and we will definitely get back to you right away. And so with that, hope you're having a great evening. If not, let's make it a great one. And remember, excellence always prevails when you pack it with power punch action.